my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and start this video off with our girl, Jania Michelle. She decided to recently speak on Bitter Baby Mamas on Twitter. Wonder if she was talking about somebody specifically or wonder if she was just speaking in general. But let's go ahead and get into what she posted. Of course, I want you guys' thoughts and opinions on what she was posting. Everybody else was giving their thoughts and opinions. I'm going to read that as well. She posted and she said, I could never be a bitter baby mom. I just don't get how girls are so darn bitter because someone doesn't want you. Girl, drop that baby off for a few days. Enjoy yourself and reset while you have the chance. Let's go ahead and get into what the fans were posting. One person said, sometimes Sometimes mothers be keeping the kid away from their fathers for a good reason though. Another person responded to her and said she not talking about that though. The young lady decides to reply and she's like my point still stands. People be thinking that a woman is keeping a man away from his baby just because he don't want her no more. But the whole time it's deeper than that. Another person responded to her once again and said, your point doesn't stand because she ain't say that. Another person decides to completely clap back. And this person says, she's talking specifically about bitter women. She's not talking about A, B, U, S, E, D women. Not women who have justified reasons. She's speaking on bitter women. So no one gets a F what you're on here trying to preach. Jania decides to respond back and she's like, finally, somebody said it. Now, I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions about this topic that Jania decided to recently bring up on Twitter that a lot of baby mamas be bitter and she just doesn't understand why these baby mothers are bitter. Now, I will have to say this. I can't say that I completely agree with the fact that women don't have the right to be bitter after they have a man's child and that man just decides to not be with them. Sometimes that's the way that the situation does play out. And obviously, like for anyone, that can be heartbreaking when a person just ups and leaves you or decides that they just don't want to be with you anymore, especially after you have done such a big life risking thing as far as having their child. So I do think that some women do go through the phase of being bitter. And as long as you come out of that bitterness later on and heal from that relationship and everything that happened in that situation and get yourself better and focus on you and your child, I do think you have the right to be upset if someone decides to leave you after you have their child. But should you stay bitter? Should you stay in that bitterness? No, I do not not think that you should do that so I can kind of understand where Jania is coming from but then I'm kind of on the opposite side of that I think women have the right to be upset if a man decides to just completely leave and not want to be with her anymore after she has his child but I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions like I said y'all leave them in the comment section below let's go ahead and move on to Blueface and Krishan Rock specifically more Blueface Blueface recently had an interview where he said that he doesn't feel like Krishan Rock is more of a soulmate he feels like she is more of a cellmate. Now, I know you guys don't really like to talk about this topic, but I'm going to briefly talk about it because I was completely mind blown when I seen Blueface say this. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think it is. So like I said, Blueface recently had a interview and this is what he was speaking on. He said, the best, worst, saddest, happiest, ugliest, beautifulest thing that I've ever done all in one. He also talks about his relationship and says that he feels like he gets the blame for a lot of stuff that Krishan does. When the interviewer decided to ask him if he thinks that Krishan Rock is his soulmate, he decided to respond and he was like, heck no, she is more of a cellmate. Now at this point, I think a lot of people, me, myself included, I can't tell if it's a pride thing for Blueface. He just doesn't want to have the embarrassment of him saying that he actually has feelings for Krishan Rock as well because obviously these two are always around each other or this could actually be what he means and what he feels. If he feels like him and Krishan are cellmates more than soulmates, then that kind of means that he feels like he's stuck with Krishan Rock, like he has to be with her. And most likely it's because of business. Meaning that these two don't actually have a bond. He doesn't feel like he has a bond with Krishan Rock or that he loves her. He feels like he has to stick next to her because it's business. He feels like he has to be in a relationship with her because at this point, this generation is entertained by their relationship. So basically he has to stick with Krishan Rock. He has to close down business deals 
to make money. He has to be in that relationship, like I said, to make money with her. Which I feel like is pretty sad because Krishan Rock expresses her feelings for Blueface on social media all the time. And as far as we know, she actually does allegedly, allegedly love him and care about him. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and move on to Black China and Tokyo Tony. And we know that these two have not had the greatest relationship after all of these years. Tokyo Tony, she constantly goes on Instagram Live and goes on these rants, not only about other celebrities, but mostly about her daughter as well, going on her daughter, saying some messed up stuff about her daughter, Black China. Well, recently, Tokyo Tony decided to hit Instagram Live and she got very emotional after her daughter, Black China, let her know that she still wants a relationship with after her. After every bad thing and all of the bashing that her mom had been saying about her online. This is what the text messages read. Black China said, forever I'm here for you. I know you are me also. The devil will not win. Like I said, after Tokyo Tony read those text messages of her daughter letting her know that she still loves her forever and that the devil will not win, she got very, very emotional. I feel like this was very sweet. I think at this point, Black China knows her mom. She probably knows that her mom went through a lot in her past, which you know, aka Tokyo Tony is coming out with the documentary and she's telling a lot about her life and things that she had to do to provide for her family when she didn't really have money. So I think everything that her mother went through in her past probably affected her mentally. So, you know, that's probably why that's probably why Tokyo Tony acts the way that she does and goes off on social media. I'm pretty sure mentally she's not all the way there right now she still probably needs a lot of healing but i love the fact that black china understands her mom and she's willing to forgive her mom for everything that she said and done and still wants a relationship with her mother like i said i feel like it's super super sweet regardless of what people say when tokyo tony is going on rants about her daughter black china black china is deciding to still have a relationship with her mom because of course she knows her mom more than we do we're just on the outside looking in but like i said congratulations to them hopefully tokyo tony does not make any more videos about her daughter doesn't do any more lives about her daughter she's not talking bad about her daughter anymore i really hope that these two can rekindle their relationship let's go ahead and move on to our girl lotto recently lotto had a performance she did a very great job. Obviously, she put out a new song that's called Put It On The Floor. And she was rapping those lyrics on stage. And at the end of her saying the lyrics about Coyle Ray, she decides to let Coyle Ray know, actually, baby, I love your body. Now, we know that she put the song out, put it on the floor not too long ago, just a couple of days ago. And Coyle Ray felt like Lotto was trying to diss her by talking about her body. So Coyle Ray went on a rant on Twitter, trying to clap back at Lotto. And then she had to note that, you know, maybe she took the lyrics the wrong way and that Lotto was actually trying to compliment her. Well, Lotto let it be known that she actually loves Coyle Ray's body on stage, like I said, by saying, Coyle Ray, by the way, I love your body. Now, Coyle Ray decided to write on her Twitter saying that she loves Lotto and she said that she was confused about the lyrics. But like I said, she said, much love to Lotto. Now, I have to say this. I love the fact that Lotto just completely shut the whole situation down by letting Coyle Ray know, look, baby, I actually love your body. Now, Coyle Ray, she was trying to clap back at Lotto. She said a couple of things that could have been taken the wrong way, that could have made Lotto clap back. But with Lotto being so unproblematic, she decides to, like I said, shut down the situation by telling Coyle Ray, actually, I love your body. It wasn't a diss, baby. It was actually a compliment. And that's why with all of the drama that has been surrounding Lotto nowadays, Lotto was always one of those celebrities who never really had anything going on, any type of controversy going on. And that's what deemed her unproblematic in my eyes and really made me like her because I'm all into like positive vibes in actuality. Not only the fact that her music is fire, not only the fact that her energy is fire, not only the fact that she gives off this boss B energy, but the fact that she's very unproblematic is what I like about her as well. And like I said, even with all of the controversy around her name, it's just people picking with her because she is getting bigger and bigger and bigger in the industry. So of course, people have 
to try to pick. I can almost guarantee if it was up to Lotto, she would be cool with everyone in the industry because that's just who she is. But y'all let me know what y'all feel about these topics, my lovely TTs, in the comment section below. Once again, thank you so much for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two days at the end. And like I always say, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.